Hi everyone, this is Marisa with Sweet Pea Curiosities. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm coming on here because I'm going to demonstrate how I did some papers. Um, I posted this on Instagram and Facebook and everybody's been asking me how I did them. So I thought I'd come on and show you. So some people call these eco dyes, some people call them alchemy. Um, I just call them fabulous. Um, so these ones here are ones that I did uh, last week and they just turned out so good. I did two batches of them and they just turned out gorgeous. Now the thing about this is, is that you never know how they're gonna turn out. Um, you don't know what kind of coloring, what kind of pattern, if it's gonna work or not. It took me a couple times to kind of figure it out um, so you might have to try a couple of times, but we're going to give it a whirl here. Um, one of the things that, um, you know, the, the purples and the colors that are in here are from flowers. So because it's fall, I don't have as many flowers. So um, I've kind of scrounged some more up in my yard, but I wish I would have started this, I guess, in the summertime when there were more options. But anyway, so let me go through of kind of what what you'll need uh, to do these. Now, I've, I've, um, I, I, sorry, I um, found the recipe in a magazine. I think it's called Studio something. It's about for junk journals. So I kind of copied hers. I did a little bit different, but I kind of copied um, what she had. So anyway, so let me kind of tell you what you'll need. Let me set these aside here. So I'm using a big pan. Now this here will need to go onto your stove top. So whatever you use needs to be able to go onto your stove top. Sorry, I got my dog here. He's, he's hacking. <laughs> so that's what I use and it fits real nicely. Then you're going to when you get all your papers, you're going to need to stack your papers on here and on here, and we're going to tie this. So what I did, I couldn't find a board or anything, so I got some cutting boards that I got. And I, I'm sure there was some at Dollar Tree, but I never made it over there, and I got these at Fred Meyer's for $6 each, but they worked really well. You're going to need some kind of a cloth. This is a cheesecloth. Um, and you can tell that I used this on the last batch because of the coloring. So you're going to need that. You're going to need vinegar. I use the white vinegar. You're going to need some kind of a twine. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a thinner one, so this is the one that I'm using. You're going to need, oh, I got a big brick from my yard. So you're going to need a brick to weigh it down. Of course, you're going to need your bag of foliage. Some people use this Alumma powder. Now, I used this on a first batch I did, and it made the papers, to for, for me, they made them more, real kind of dark gray. Um, so I didn't use that on the last batch, and I actually like the process better. So I'm not going to use that, but there are people that do use this as well. They mix it in with the vinegar. You're going to need your papers. Now, my papers, as you can tell, are very sturdy. And you need a sturdier paper because they're going to be wet, and you know you don't want tears when you're bringing them up. So I use my photo paper, and this is what I print all my digitals on it and stuff because it just gives beautiful coloring and it probably helped even with the coloring using these papers but this is the paper that i i use i get this at, at fred meyers it's just a matte photo paper and this is the best paper so far that i found that i really like you're going to need some foil and you're going to need a cookie sheet and you're going to need water Whoops. 
So, all right, so let's get started. Let me kind of move this out of the way here. The first thing that I do is I'm going to do my twine. Just enough so I can wrap. Tie it up. Then I'm going to take one of my boards or cutting board here and I'm going to put it right here. I hope I'm in frame. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down my paper. So I'm gonna lay down my paper here, and then I'm going to just take all my flowers and leaves and that sort of thing, and I'm just gonna lay them on top. Now, some people I've seen, they do it just very, you know, strategic. Not me. I just kind of tear. I just kind of randomly put things different places. I kind of liked the little uh, busy look to them. Some of these, I don't want these big sticks. I don't want them tearing my paper. So we'll cut, actually I'll just do it like this. Like this here. Let's see, grab some of these. So there's the first one. Now I'm just going to lay this over the top of this and kind of squish it down. Now I have some dried flowers that I thought I would try to use as an experiment to see if um, some of these might work. Uh, do I want those little berries? Probably not. Maybe some of these little leaves here. Oops, got a bug in here. Okay. Hope everybody's doing okay. Just been busy doing this kind of stuff. Trying to organize my house a little bit, getting rid of stuff. Oh my gosh, I've just, you know, we just get so much stuff. Organizing my closets. These red roses are the ones that created the purple uh, in my previous papers, but I'm not I'm not really sure. I 
just, I just plop everything down. Here, what are these? The Japanese maples, and they make a real pretty, real pretty design. Sorry for my reach here. Trying to get in the bag. Let's see what I have here. hydrangeas here. Oh, those big sticks. I didn't use these last time, so I'm curious to know what these do here. Dog's really having a problem today. <laughs> it's actually my son's dog, Tucker. <laughs> I've been babysitting him. We lost our dog in August, and it, oh, it was just all of a sudden, it was just so sad. So I told my son, I said, I need to watch Tucker. I miss having a dog around. They're such good company. Okay, I'm doing, let's see how many is that? I'm doing 10, I'm gonna do 10 pages, so I got three more to go here. Ooh, doesn't wanna come off of there. If I have something different in here that I haven't used yet. Again, I apologize for my reach here. Oh, I forgot about these, see? Have these guys in here. Little yellow mums. These ones are kind of dead, but we'll see what they do. Oh boy, there's little bugs everywhere. The little spider there that just went by. stuff here. Okay. There we go.
Now, we're gonna lay this down over the top. I'm gonna squish it all down. We're gonna take our other board. I'm gonna tie this up as tight as you can. Thicker rope is not very good. It's hard to tie. That's all I had. Okay. I'm trying to get my mess out of here. All right. So now that is all tied in there. I don't worry about anything sticking out. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cheesecloth. Actually, let's do this. And you're gonna wrap this around like so. And just doesn't have to be tight, just around it. Then you're gonna take your pan. And oh, I forgot one more thing. You need rusted bits. So I just put my rusted bits on the bottom. I don't know how this works, but it does create some really pretty design on the papers. So, all right, so there's our little rusted bits. We're gonna plop this down over here. Then, now, I think in the recipe, she said a half cup of vinegar. But, I just poured it around. I didn't really have a rhyme or reason of how much I used, I just went around the edges. Then you're gonna take water. And you're gonna fill your pot. I think I might overflow it here a little bit. Nope, I think I'm good. So it needs to be covered in the water. So now that's all covered, like that. All the papers are down. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to take your foil. Oh, get my mess out of the way. And you're gonna cover it really tight. do is I put it on my stove top. You'll bring this to a boil and then once it's to a boil you'll let it simmer for at least 20 minutes. After that you turn it off and you let it cool and I let it cool for maybe 15 or so minutes and so when that's all done and boiled and done I'll come back and show you uh, the next part and that's the, the reveal. Okay, everyone, so the papers have all been cooked and it's cooled down enough that I think that um, we can take a look and see what we have. I forgot to mention that after you put the foil down onto your, your um, tray or your cooking pot, you want to place down your brick so it weighs it down and I forgot to show you that. 
So anyways, let's see what we've got. So here's the cheesecloth until it's all gray. Let's see, gotta grab some scissors here. All right, I hope it turned out. You just never know. Oh, you guys, look at that. Oh, so pretty, I can tell. Okay, so what I do is I take some tweezers to lift up the sides because I don't want to tear the paper. Oh, you guys, look. Oh, look at that. You want to just gently take off the, the leaves. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? So I have to keep walking over to my area where I lay them down. So I apologize for that. This is a view. Okay. So let's take, just wanna make sure you guys are in frame here, right? Yes, okay. Oh, okay, so then you wanna just gently remove all the flowers and leaves. Yeah, see, it's those roses that give that purple effect. Mm. So pretty. It always smells like cabbage has been cooked. <laughs> it's got to be the greenery. Yeah, I love that purple and the green. Oh, so pretty. Pink, pink roses. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you guys, look how beautiful that is. Oh, so pretty. I hope you can kind of see the detail of all the leaves. All right, let's keep going here. So those were the pink flowers, I believe. This is the best part. You just never know what you're gonna get. Never know. So this, so it's some of those leaves that create that kind of blue color in these papers. I wasn't sure what was creating that blue. Oh yeah, look at that. So beautiful, you guys. Oh, I just love doing this. It's just a surprise every time. Look at 
This one didn't look like it got much color. I put more green in it, but that's okay. It gives some really good designs in here. This one's going to be a little lighter, which is which is good because I don't want them all dark. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, fabulous. So what I have over there that I'm putting them on, I just put a plastic tablecloth on my dining table and I'm just laying them on there to dry. I usually dry them for about 24 hours. Look at that. So, so pretty. Now she also had on the instructions to rinse hers, but I didn't. I just let them dry, and then anything that was just kind of left over just came right off anyway. So I'm not. I'm assuming that's why she said to to rinse them, but. Okay, this was that kind of that diseased leaf that I put on there. Look, it kind of gave it the, or the yellow, kind of a rust to it. I don't think that my rusty bits are very rusty anymore. I've used them too much. So I don't see any kind of rust on this as, as of yet. What do you guys think? I know you guys can do this. It's, you know, it's time consuming, but it's, it's very easy. It's not hard to do at all. Look at that. Oh, just so beautiful. I can't wait to use these in journals. The ones that I did before I actually scanned them and I did create digitals of them as well if you guys want to check those out. And I kind of changed the colors on them with my program. So it kind of had a variety of them and they turned out neat too. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Oops, I'm making a mess. This is just so satisfying. Oh, look at that.
Mm, I kind of like these rusted leaves that I had, or diseased. <laughs> My plant's not doing very good, but wow, it really creates kind of a rusty effect in a way. Next, I'm going to try those dried flowers. I'm going to see if it works. Every time I get a bouquet of roses or flowers, I always try to dry the leaves and I've got a, a big jar. I don't know why, what I thought I'd do with them, but I always just keep them. So if it works for this, that'd be great. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Hope you guys try this. I'd love to see what yours turns out like as well. Because you know, we all got different plants and different flowers. Ugh. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that one. Isn't that, wow, that's like a, that looks like a watercolor. Oh, oops, it got, look what it did here. It didn't happen on my last one, but it, it got the thing, but that's okay. It didn't happen on my last ones. I never thought about that. Oh, look, that is so pretty. Now that looks like it got a little bit of the rust in it. Oh, gorge. Okay, so I will get these dried and then I will be back to show you the final result. Okay, everyone, they're all dry. So this is what we got. Isn't that pretty? Soft kind of greens and, and kind of golds in there with the purples. Definitely more purple in this one. Whoops, little piece there. This one here, obviously my invention of the cutting board didn't work because the handle, so that kind of showed there, but it's kind of neat. It's kind of like it. It looks raised. But this has some blue. I don't know where the blue comes from what leaf or flowers or what creates the blue. There's some of the rust in there, so you can kind of see a little bit here and there. Here's some more, got some orange in there. I'm not sure what that's from. Really pretty patterns. Look at that one. Kind of lavenders. Got a little bit of the orange in there. It almost looks like watercolor. There's some of that rust on the edges there. That's pretty. I love that purple. Look at that one. Look at the leaves. You see the flowers here. This looks like a big flower with it coming out. A little darker. There's that blue again. I guess I should pay more attention to what leaves I put on there so I know, because that's pretty. See little flowers here throughout the design. 
This one's definitely more of a sepia, goldy brown, a little bit of the rust. That's very muted. There's this one. This one. That has a lot of rust. Pretty. Okay, and then after I did this batch while this was drying, remember I was talking about the dried flowers? Well, I did it. But look at the difference. Look at the difference between the two. It's darker. It bled more. So we'll kind of go through that. I mean, everything is always so different. Look at that. But it definitely gave a different kind of a pattern to it. I did add some green on top of the dried flowers, so I had some contrast. But yeah, it just bled. Different. Look at that, with one of the flowers. It kind of gave it this effect. See how it just... It just bled in over into the sides, which is really kind of neat. different. So yeah. So look. Totally different pages. I mean, just crazy, crazy different. You just never know what you're gonna get so all right I hope you guys learned something I hope hopefully that was helpful to you um, if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you so much for being here I really appreciate all of you and all your wonderful nice comments when I post you know uh, papers or or my journals and, and things like that on here or Instagram or Facebook I so appreciate all of you Thank you so much. Have a great day.